our great grandfathers, great grandmothers, they talked a lot about an eruption. They told us that when you see these things happening, natural things happening, that is uh, an indication that there will be an eruption. So they said that when you see the sea receding and continues rumbling, quaking, you know the earthquake? During that time, there was also the seaweeds were uprooted and the sea receding right out to sea. Uh, the dogs here don't normally howl, but during that time, uh, before the eruption, the dogs were howling. The cats were, were you know, were, were uneasy. Even the chickens and, uh, the, you know, all the animals were, were very frightened and they were, they were acting very peculiar. So those were the, the indications that we were told that when you see things happening like that, that is an indication that definitely there will be an eruption. We've done a lot of work on the uh, geological, volcanological history of the area and it's very clear that the system has been in existence for a very long time, um, hundreds of thousands of years and so we built up a historical record, a prehistorical record. So we, we know that um, because of the history of the volcano that it will erupt again. So we have to prepare for the next eruption. The Rabal caldera, located on New Britain Island in Papua New Guinea, is one of the region's most active geohazard zones. It lies along the Pacific Ring of Fire, a network of active volcanoes which has helped shape our islands and yet pose the biggest threat to our existence. For centuries, traditional knowledge has been the main factor in saving lives of people living around active volcanoes. They were taught to read the signs and prepare for one of Mother Nature's greatest furies. In 1994, Mount Tavorvur erupted. It was 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, that was when hell broke out. It was totally dark, lightning was very, very low, and everybody was just, didn't know what to do. Uh, you had to just, uh, whatever you can find, just get under whatever you can find and just get yourself in there and, and stay in there. The Rabal Volcano Observatory, which has been keeping an eye on Mount Tavurvur since 1940, provided sufficient warnings of her imminent eruption. So we get the information uh, through the instrumentation that uh, we have uh, in Rabal uh, Caldera and uh, other volcanoes, uh, as I have uh, indicated. We get that information and we try to uh, analyze them. So by using that uh, information, uh, we sort of uh, make assessments uh, on the conditions uh, or the status of the volcano. So if we see that uh, there's activity uh, you know, developing and that may progress to an eruption, then uh, two things are happen. If the activity actually develops into a potential eruption, the Rabal Volcano Observatory activates its 24-7 uh, uh, watch uh, system. The Rabal Volcano Observatory, or ROV, also has to monitor several of PNG's active and dormant volcanoes every day. It was 24, and so currently it's uh, 22 uh, dormant volcanoes. So our responsibility is to uh, monitor as many of the volcanoes as are possible, especially the active volcanoes. Uh, unfortunately, uh, due to our resources, we are able to monitor only uh, you know, select a number of volcanoes, and that is uh, what we regard as uh, high-risk uh, volcanoes. Uh, so that, you know, that class of uh, volcanoes uh, consists of uh, about six or eight uh, volcanoes. In efforts to increase the monitoring and surveillance capacity of the Port Moresby Geophysical Observatory, the Pacific Communities Building Resilience and Safety in the Pacific, or BSRP program, teamed up with the PNG Department of Mineral Policy and Geohazards Management to identify and prioritize their needs. Funded through the European Union, the BSRP team and geologists and seismologists requested specialized equipment. The equipment that has been given is a very sophisticated equipment that will be used to monitor the eruption of, uh, of volcanoes, not only for Rabal, but for all the whole of uh, PNG. So they have a set of equipments located in uh, Port Mosby at the 
uh, observatory in Port Mosby, and there's another set of equipment at Robal. The one at Robal is very critical because uh, taking into consideration the 1994 eruption and then another eruption in 2015 on Tavurvur uh, volcano. So uh, those are the equipments, and it it also are mobile uh, equipment that they take to respective uh, monitoring stations that they have, and they use that equipment for monitoring. The specialized equipment now allows the ROV to quickly mobilize and deploy teams when volcanic activities start to escalate. We don't uh, have uh, instruments on all our stations, on all our volcanoes, so the instruments, um, they help us to put or to respond to uh, volcanoes or activities of volcanoes that uh, don't have instruments on. So with uh, portable seismographs, uh, if there's activity on a volcano that do not have instruments, we deploy them and do field assessments and uh, continue to monitor the volcano and provide information back to the central observatory and to authorities that need the information to, to again, to do their own uh, decisions. The Port Moresby Geophysical Observatory is confident that with increased technological resources, they are placed in a better position to predict possible future eruptions. So the advantage these instruments give us is we are able to see what is happening inside the volcano before it uh, manifests on the, on the crater. So without these instruments, RVO wouldn't be able to see what's happening inside and then make that information available to the people. So again, uh, without these instruments, there might not be enough warning for the people to let them know that something is happening inside the volcano or might happen to the volcano yeah so once it has erupted when we deploy um, we can try and track the activity of the volcano and then uh, say whether it's going to continue or not bsrp through funding support from the eu is also assisting in the development of new and innovative diploma level courses directly related to natural disaster risk management and geohazards monitoring and response. The University of Papua New Guinea, through the geohazard uh, division, they have actually designed four modules, four modules on disaster risk uh, management that uh, is going to be implemented at the university. This is to, uh, to train, to build capacity, you know, for the, for the young generation now, because you know that um, on the, there's a lot of staff, staff turnover in terms of age, you know, the experience are now going away. So we need to build a capacity with a new set of, um, of expertise through the students and through the, the courses uh, or the modules offered by the University of PNG to train people so that uh, this is continued and uh, ensuring sustainability. And while these may be just small machines, for the government of PNG, it means building the resilience of their people to prepare and endure future disasters. Well, it's extremely important we should do that because they are the ones that get affected in the first instance. Help don't reach them very quickly in time. And the only way to, to help them, to look after themselves if they get affected or be able to see signs and move to safer grounds, they need those uh, support. The effort and, and focus now would be to build the capacity of our people out there at the you know, forefront in the rural areas. We need to build a capacity so that they can be able to look after themselves. And as the ROV keeps an eye on Mount Tavurvur, one thing is certain, she will erupt again. The belief that we have is that uh, we are in an area that is prone to volcanic eruption. So uh, definitely there will be another one uh, belonging to the other, the new generation that will come. We've had ours, they had theirs, so definitely I certainly believe that there will be another one for the new generation. The volcanoes in Rabaul will certainly erupt again. We know that there will be a period of rest by the volcanoes and then they will erupt again. And so we just have to be ready for the next eruption. And, and with the technology that is in place now with the instrumentation, we will be in a much better position be able to monitor and prepare for the, the next eruption there.